In this video, I'm going to do a 3D contoured surface. So I've got my DMC1 logo here as an extruded part in CAD, but what's special about it is that if you look from the sides, you can see the top surface is three-dimensional and wavy. It's not flat, so it obviously can't be done with a normal flat end mill very well. So to machine this, I'm going to first use a regular end mill and a 3D toolpath to remove the bulk of the material, and then use a ball end mill to trace along the surfaces in tiny stepovers to give me a smooth final finish. Next, I'm going to switch to a 2mm end mill and plunge in the corners just so that the end mill doesn't have to take too much side loading on the next operation, which is to do a slow final contour and everything to clean it up. Now for the 3D part, I'm going to use a parallel toolpath to trace over everything 3D and it's not going all the way down. It's just getting a rough shape of things for the ball end mill to do minimal work afterwards. And then here I switch out to the ball end mill to do that final top facing. So rather than doing hundreds of tiny passes back and forth, which would take a while but leave a very smooth finish, I decided to do bigger stepovers and two passes that are perpendicular to each other. This way it'll leave a nice knurled sort of looking surface texture on the top and finish the job much faster. After that I'm using the same ball end mill to do a tiny chamfer or more of an edge break on all the text edges.
So here's how it all turned out. The curves feel very consistent to the touch, and the bumps feel like the grip on some kind of handlebar. There is of course a bit missing from the number one at the very right edge, and that's my fault. I didn't really measure the scrap piece of stock accurately, and it had a low spot that went into the final part. But the whole thing still turned out really well aside from that, and it shows the machine's capability with 3D tool paths, which is what I really wanted to emphasize in this video. Be sure to subscribe and check back later because I might try to machine two halves of a small injection mold. I've had a few requests for that and it would be a cool project to do in the future. So as always, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something new. See you in the next one.